Oh good, another recipe made for 20 plus people that I'm probably gonna eat the most of. Out of the window goes my diet. <laughs> But what is going on my peeps? Thank you for coming back to the channel as always. Now this recipe, just like the eight desserts in one pan I did, it's made for a large number of people, like a party, a family gathering, not just me to sit alone in my basement and eat. It is the four flavor sheet pan crunch wrap. If you've ever tried that crunch wrap from Taco Bell, you would know how good these could potentially be. You know, if we're using fresh, good ingredients, which it seems like we're going to, but it is gonna be a lot of work, so let's just jump right into it. Now guys, the first of the four flavors we're gonna be attacking is the chicken. I grabbed some chicken breasts and red pepper, some white onion and lime, some olive oil, which you're gonna have to get used to in this video, fresh cilantro, and some taco seasoning. Now as a very inexperienced and mediocre cook, I will admit, um, I've never parboiled uh, chicken before. But I just let those simmer for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna cut up our white onions, our peppers, all of which, of course, Tasty casually doesn't show in their video again. By the end of this video, I'm probably also gonna be sick of cutting onions. And in the same way, I usually prepare fresh parsley. I'm getting a bunch of the cilantro because we are going to need it. After I got all that stuff prepared, I grabbed my chickens out of the water and started shredding it up with two forks. I don't know exactly how much chicken I'm gonna need. I'll probably have a little bit left over. I'm just happy these look cooked and decent. And now we can move right along. So in my nonstick pan, I threw down some olive oil and my onion and pepper first. I let that to cook down for a couple of minutes before adding in two cups of that shredded chicken, that taco seasoning, which I'm sure I'm gonna get roasted for using, some fresh cilantro and the juice of half of a lime. And I don't know exactly how long to let this cook down. I gave it about five minutes. Everything looked like it came together nicely. So I'm gonna move on to number two. And this one's just a veggie one with olive oil, paprika, and cumin. Salt and pepper, unfortunately I don't have another red pepper, so I'm gonna use a green and an orange one this time. Some more onion and lime. And once again, I'm sure you guys are already tired of watching me cut vegetables, but uh, I cut the onion a little bit different in some shoestrings this time, and the peppers in some nice slices. I took some time to remove all the seeds out of my two peppers. I tried to not cut my finger open with this knife. I can't tell you guys how many people that I know, either personally or I've seen in person, have told me how nervous I make them when I use some of these knives, because they just don't trust me, apparently. I don't blame any of them, because one day it'll probably be bad. Nice and simple, but smelling delicious. Recipe number two of four is complete. For number three, I grabbed, can you guess, some olive oil, onion, and lime. This time some ground beef, some cilantro, a few tomatoes, and some more taco seasoning. I gave you guys a fair warning, you're gonna see quite a bit of onion cutting today. Um, if I was tasty, I would've cut all this out, but I'm not, so. I got that done. This time I have to dice up uh, some tomatoes, which, as a lot of you know, I'm not the biggest fan of tomatoes. I'd rather skip them completely, if I'm being honest. But they're a pretty big component in this recipe, so I'm just gonna leave them in. Some more olive oil and onion. You would think we're doing the same thing four times over. And then a pound of that ground beef. This seems like quite a bit of onion. I'm thinking I added maybe a little bit too much, plus they're making me cry more than Logan Paul did when he lost his ad revenue. I can always rely on the Paul brothers to give me some content for my videos. <laughs> but I just added the tomato and some more lime juice. I cannot explain how good this is smelling right now. Plus with the other two recipes that I've made already, I just, I wanna dig in. But I'm not going to yet because the last of our recipes includes some eggs and butter, some more tomatoes and onions, and salt and pepper. This one's gonna be the simplest. I took another five minutes to cut this onion and tomato up and then just grab six eggs. You're gonna wanna scramble them lightly in a separate bowl first. And I'm sure you guys know the drill by now. The only difference here obviously is the eggs. I did add the salt and pepper to the pan after I added all the other ingredients. And I gave those a nice scramble until everything was cooked and the eggs weren't runny anymore and put those to the side because we're ready to assemble this, right? Wrong. 
The rest of the ingredients you need for this very long recipe are bacon, some giant flour tortillas, some small corn tortillas that I'm going to bake first, both sharp cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack cheese. So like I said, the first thing I did was grab those small corn tortillas. They already had like store-bought tostadas already. I could not find them. And I'm thinking these might come out even better. Once I toss them in some olive oil, salt, and lime juice, I baked them in a 400 degree oven and they came out really good. I put them to the side while I ripped open my pound of bacon. I feel like some poor company needs to start sponsoring these videos. And thankfully, unlike the putrid bacon that I tried to eat last time, this is crispy and delicious, just how I expect it to be. And once I had half of that pound of bacon cooked up, I gave it a rough chop and set that to the side as well. Now the last prep that we have to do is just shred up our blocks of cheese. You guys know what shredded cheese looks like. This took me about 10 minutes, but finally we are ready to throw it all together. Hallelujah. Onto my cookie sheet, which I think is the same size as Tasty's. I put down some cooking spray first, and then seven of my large flour tortillas. You kind of want to interlace them here, so as they cook, they kind of mend together, but the cheese will help doing that as well. Three cups of both cheddar and Monterey Jack. But for the main ingredients, in the first corner, I put down the chicken mix, which was actually the perfect amount. I was surprised. I cornered that off, and in the second corner, I added in my pepper mixture. Once again, surprisingly, it was the perfect amount. I'm also going super OCD, just like old school David, trying to get these perfectly squared away in each corner. Once you have all of that down, you're gonna toss on your chopped up bacon across the top of that as well. For the next layer, I tossed down six of our crispy corn tortillas and top the entire thing off with the rest of my shredded cheese. I don't know how I'm gonna prevent myself from eating half of this thing. But with the eighth and final flour tortilla, I slapped it down in the middle and folded up every single other one around the corners and up to the top. And they actually cover this whole thing very nicely. You're gonna wanna weigh this thing down with some other pans, maybe your cast iron skillet, whatever you have that's heavy and oven safe. And into a 375 degree oven, this went for 20 minutes. After that, I took off the weights that I had on top and left it in for another 15. After that 15 minutes, I honestly, I don't have words for how this looks and smells right about now. Shout outs to my dad who flipped it for me because I was too scared to ruin the whole thing. And this looks absolutely glorious. <laughs> so I tried to cut it up in some even segments. I got six squares out of each flavor, which I do think was more than Tasty got. But the cheese looks melty, the beef and the chicken smell amazing. I have to taste this thing right now. It's been a very long time since I was this excited to try something. Also, I have a little bit of salsa because I think it's only right. And I'm gonna try them in the order that I made them. So first, the chicken. Oh man, I'm hungry too. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be bad. The chicken is perfect. It's not dry, it's seasoned. Um, that cheese is awesome. The only question I have is, I don't know where that corn tortilla went because there's like no crunch in it. This is the first one and I'm gonna finish it. This is not good. Damn, that is good. Even if you don't make that massive sheet of everything, just make that chicken like that. I'm sure some of you have that like once a week. I'm just not used to it. Next up is the onions and peppers, which is a little bit more greasy, I feel, because it was like right on the end. <laughs> That's good too. I prefer the chicken one, without a doubt, but I have no complaints about that one either. On to the ground beef, which is the most common. I wouldn't say like traditional or anything, because I really don't know, but uh, I would definitely think of beef mix in a crunch wrap. This is just a bunch of like, oh my gods and moaning. This is so good. Some sour cream would go very nicely with these, but holy crap, this is amazing. I'm also gonna be very honest with you guys. I started filming this at 1.30 this afternoon. It's now nine, so seven and a half hours of cooking 
apparently paid off. And I finished that one too. I'm actually getting a little full, but I'm gonna keep chugging along. This is the egg and bacon, which is probably gonna be the most um, unusual. But I'm looking forward to it, if it's nearly as good as any of the other three. Taco Bell, sell these for breakfast. I would actually go to your restaurant more than once a year. <laughs> it's like a breakfast burrito on steroids. Breakfast crunch wrap. Because I want to save room and go up and have more chicken, um, I'm not gonna finish that. All four of them were amazing. I'd highly recommend you trying whichever one you think you would like more, but goddamn, 10 out of 10 if I've ever seen one. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's BuzzFeed test. If you did, leave me a big like. I've been filming for 30 minutes already, so this is probably gonna be a super long video. Um, and I have another one coming out on Sunday. It's a DIY, it's a little bit different, so look out for that. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, leave me a comment, tell me what to do next. Other than all that stuff, have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you right back here next time.